What's going on everyone? Let's start this off with 480 grams or 16.9 ounces of 65% lean to 35% fat beef mince. To season this, add in one teaspoon or two grams of paprika, one teaspoon or two grams of onion powder, and one teaspoon or two grams of garlic powder. With clean hands, rub all of that seasoning into the meat, making sure that it's completely incorporated. Weigh out two 240 grams or 8.4 ounce patties, and preferably using a burger press or egg ring, use whatever you have to shape the meat, making sure that it's well compacted. Scrape a knife around the rim to loosen the patty, and remove it from the mold. We're then going to press the mince down to create an even flat patty. Tuck in the sides, making sure it's nice and smooth, and allow these to rest and get to room temperature. This will create a better crust and achieve even cooking. Whilst we're waiting for that, preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then to make a delicious herby mayonnaise, in a small bowl add in two free range egg yolks, along with one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. With a damp tea towel, fold it up into a nice little nest that will hold our bowl nice and tight. Then whisk the yolks and mustard together until smooth. Whilst continuously whisking, slowly pour in 20 milliliters of olive oil to create an emulsion. Once that's all in, continue whisking and now slowly pour in 80 milliliters of vegetable oil. And the reason we swap oils is because vegetable oil has a more neutral flavor, whereas olive oil is strong and can easily overpower the other ingredients. When all of the vegetable oil is in, give it a good thorough mix just to ensure that it's completely emulsified. Roughly chop up seven grams of fresh dill and it doesn't have to be super fine, just make sure there's no large stems. And then with five grams of flat leaf parsley, scrunch it up into a nice ball and give it a rough chop. Combine both herbs together and add them into your mayonnaise. Slice one lemon in half and squeeze in two tablespoons worth of the juice, making sure that no seeds decide to jump in. Season it with one teaspoon of sea salt flakes and mix all of that together until it's well combined. Once done, place it in your fridge until we're ready to serve. With four rashers of streaky bacon, slap them onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper, and bake these in your preheated oven for nine to 10 minutes or until deeply golden brown. When your patties are at room temperature, season each patty with one teaspoon of sea salt flakes and one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. The reason that we don't season them in the beginning is because salt draws moisture and dissolves meat proteins, which will give our burgers a dry interior and the texture of a sausage, which is definitely what we don't want. Place a large heavy base skillet onto your stovetop over a high heat and allow it to get really hot. Once hot, pour in one tablespoon of olive oil, give the pan a swirl around, and place in the patties, seasoning side down. We're then going to sear these for two minutes until nice and golden. After two minutes, carefully flip the patties and sear the opposite side for two more minutes. After two minutes on both sides, remove the pan from the stovetop and place these into the oven for three minutes to help cook the center. After three minutes, remove the pan from the oven and for even more flavor, add one teaspoon of unsalted butter to each patty and a nice big 40 gram chunk of Monterey Jack cheese. Place this back into the oven for two minutes to finish cooking and for that cheese to melt. Then once all that's done, how good do these look? Carefully remove both patties from the pan and place them on a tray or a plate to rest for five minutes, which will allow the juices to redistribute inside the meat. And if there's any of that delicious melted cheese in the pan, make sure not to waste it and add it onto the patties. For the next part, Carefully wipe the pan to remove the fat. Place the pan onto a medium heat and slice our homemade burger buns. If you're interested in making these, check out my link in the description below for my previous video. Place your buns into the pan and toast them until they're nice and golden brown, making sure to check them frequently because they can burn quite easily. Once toasted, flip them over and toast the other side for 20 seconds, and then remove them from the pan. To assemble our burgers, spoon in a good amount of herby mayonnaise on the top and the bottom of the bun. Place on a nice crisp piece of cos or romaine lettuce. Quickly slice yourself up some tomato, removing the butt end. Lay it on the lettuce and give it a small pinch of sea salt flakes. Add on that delicious and cheesy beef patty lay over that golden brown bacon and place on the lid. Now let's slice this in half to reveal the inside.
and that looks absolutely incredible. And then after all of that work, it's time to eat. That burger is seriously amazing. It's packed with so much flavor, it's super juicy, and the simplicity of the condiments allow you to taste a little bit of everything, making this a truly fantastic meal. If you have any leftover mayonnaise, it will last two days in your fridge. And if you want to, you can have the patties made ahead of time and have them stored in your freezer for up to six months ready to go. And make sure you check out my burger bun recipe, which I'll leave a link in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help my channel grow. And consider subscribing for hundreds of more fantastic recipes. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.